Well, hello and welcome. This is Nate. I just want to say thanks for clicking on the video. And I've got this super nice Palm Harbor home called The Horizon. This is at uh, Palm Harbor Homes here in Oklahoma City. So we are, oops, I didn't get the door shut completely. But anyway, you got that nice little recess around your door area, which is really nice if you're trying to get out of the weather while you're trying to get into your home. Got some really nice colors on this one. But uh, the Horizon is a four bedroom, two bathroom home. Can be had with a fifth bedroom but where that fifth bedroom is at in this one, they've got it set up with a uh, entertainment center, making it, as they call it, a fun room or a uh, theater room. So uh, if you want any more information on this home, don't forget to click the link in the description below. But don't forget to hit the like button while you're there. Real brief on the back side here, we've got a couple of windows. And then your back door. Now let's head back in. I did see when I was looking at this that this is a wind zone one and uh, thermal zone two home. So I'll point out also we've got the lighting up underneath your eave there. So inside your home, and I know I didn't mention the square footage out there, 1,860 square foot. So for our living room area here, we've got really nice blue accent wall. And let me tell you, it is a hot one today. 93 I think is the expectation for the day and it definitely feels like it <laughs> so overall it's a good size living room for being a four bedroom mid-size home I wouldn't classify it as an extra large home Kind of comes in and just over around that mid-size range, but yet not quite the smaller of the mid-size, obviously, with 1,800 square foot. So we'll just go ahead and we all know that the pantry is going to be right there. Now this one falls in the range of sheetrock in all your living spaces, all your wet spaces, such as your bathrooms, and they classify closets that way also, we'll have the uh, board and bat. So we've got some nice deep cabinets in the island there. And we've got the Amana appliance package in this home. So we've got stainless steel refrigerator, we've got the black stove and dishwasher, which uh, hard to show there, but there we go. So white cabinets up top. And we've got this dark blue down below. Nice stack of drawers here. And then we've got the white subway tile for your backsplash. 
or does run all the way to the ceiling. And I have filmed a previous version of this home and there was a sliding glass door right there so I know that you can generally get that as an option. Now you've got the beams here in your kitchen and dining room in recessed lighting. And behind this sliding door here is going to be your utility room. And we've got washer and dryer hookups. The wooden rack up above. You've got your water heater is gonna be right here. And plenty of room to put yourself a freezer and not interfere with your water heater or your electrical panel because it is on the back side right over here by your back door. And since we're at the hallway, we're going to go ahead and do this end of the home first. And you've got the dual porcelain sinks here in your bathroom, the matte black faucets, They give you a stack of drawers, dual vanity, and I really like this. Now I know it's not real stonework, but uh, it looks really good, especially when you're standing back. And I've never seen fixtures like that for your light fixtures in the bathroom before. So that's really cool. And then we've got our toilet area right here. Now, hopefully there's a lock on that door because um, when that door opens, you better hope you're not sitting on it. <laughs> and then we've got our shower tub combo. <laughs> so we've got the shower head placed really high. So for all you tall people, you got lots of room. There is your furnace. And into the first of the four bedrooms. And you're getting a peek at the uh, that little uh, family room there, or entertainment room. That's what they've got it listed as on the floor plan, is a entertainment room. So it looks like we've got some old oil pumps over there. And we've got some knickknack shelves right here. Skinny with that blue accent wall, which really stands out. Looks really good. And I like that this shelf is fairly deep, 
So it lets you put your bigger TVs that have those bigger bases on them if you wanted to actually set it on there. Otherwise, you know, mounting it uh, doesn't really matter. And you've got the theater style lights. Looks really good. Now once again, they've got the beams in the ceiling up here. And then the last of the guest bedrooms. Now this one's stuffed full of uh, pictures and mirrors and stuff like that. So I like these darker color on the gray. I mean, it really stands out and looks really good. Now for your master. Just wait till you see the shower in this thing. Yeah. Huge shower in the master bathroom here. And let me point out all your vents are in the ceiling. Hello, Raiden. Hello, Raiden. Once again, they've got real similar to the style that they had in the uh, guest bathroom here. In fact, I'd venture to say that's probably the same size counter. Once again, really nice light fixtures in here. Then you've got your area to check yourself out. I mean, who is this handsome guy, right? <laughs> so we're just gonna go ahead and show the shower to start with. There's no tub to show, so we might as well show the shower. We've got the huge bench in here and the shower tower with a wand. They even got soap in here ready for you. <laughs> We've got a linen closet. So you've got a nice wide water closet. We're going to finish up with the main bedroom closet. And now that you guys have made it this far, hopefully you're not finished because you got to go leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of the horizon. A really nice home. I really like the layout of this one and I love the colors they used in this. Let me know in the comments if that's your style, if you like the colors. 
what you think and don't forget to uh, hit the like button hit the subscribe button turn on the notifications all that good stuff share this video with your friends and family or whoever you know is looking for a home and i will see you soon with some price information thanks for watching anyway so y'all made it this far i appreciate you sticking around and watching um we gotta get you some price information for this home so this one is called the horizon 62 which is part of their Keystone series. So, you know, every manufacturer has a, you know, different brands that they make and they're part of a series. So this one is part of the Keystone series. Now you can get this in a three bedroom, you can get it in a five bedroom. You can get it as little as about 1400 square foot up to, I believe, around 2000 square foot. I'm looking at uh, Palm Harbor's price list so that's where i'm getting some of my information from i'll put a link to that in the description down below also so make sure you check that out you know it's got all their different makes and models from 2023 with the price range so i don't know exactly how much this home was because palm harbor you know when i was there they didn't give me any price information they just said it was all available on the website the price for this home was basically a for the entire year of 2023 is what we're going to be covering here based off of this price list that I'm looking at and they have the Horizon 62 at 1860 square foot coming in starting price of 216,000 and the fully maxed out fully optioned out type home would be around $266,000 so you've got a pretty good price range in there depending on options that you go with. But there could also be extra city fees, county fees, city regulations, you know, things like that that you can't always account for. You know, it also depends on how far you have the home delivered. There could be extra delivery fees. So with that all in mind, 216 to 266, you know, and who knows, you may even be able to option in, you know, all your wet spaces as sheetrock also. <clears throat> Maybe that's included in that 266,000. I'm not exactly 100% sure, so don't take that as gospel, so to say. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe button, notification bell, all that good stuff, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.